Patricia, calm down. It's just me, Paul. Remember? Why is Paul? Why did you have to scare me like that? Patricia, I wasn't trying to scare you, okay? And you know, why were you even sleeping in the middle of the day? Okay, look, it's not my fault that I lost some sleep, alright? I've just been working overtime, okay? Jeez. Well, I'm just saying, honestly, because it seems that you've forgotten about the grand opening of the Lucille Carnival. Grand opening of the Lucille Carnival? Yeah, yeah? We bought tickets? You know? Like, for, you know, like, the grand opening and stuff? Lucilla Carnival? You don't remember that? When we went on the computer? For the tickets? You don't remember any of that? Oh, yeah, right. I kind of forgot, I guess. Jesus, Patricia, we've been planning this for like a month now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? It's just that I've been working overtime and stuff. Since, you know, we're losing money and we need to pay the bills somehow and stuff. Okay, look, it's fine, okay? I just, I just don't want it, I just don't want to get into an argument, okay? It's just that we only have like a few hours to actually get ready for the grand opening. Wait, really? Well, what? When does it start then? Well, I mean, hold on. Yeah, yeah, like 5 p.m. I'm sorry, 5 p.m.? It's like in three hours. Okay, I gotta go hurry and change. Oh, Treasure, don't we just wear the same clothes every single day? Yes, we wear the same clothes every day, but these are dirty now since I've been sleeping. Well, okay then. And also, why do you even sleep on the damn table? Are you stupid or something? Well, I mean, why didn't we just buy a bed for, like, this room and stuff in the house? Well, once again, we're running low on money, so I had to work overtime. Well, maybe if you wouldn't keep buying Gucci and stuff for yourself, then maybe we could have gotten a bed in this room so we actually sleep, sleep somewhere. Now, yeah, because of that, I actually sleep on the damn couch. Okay, we'll talk about that later. I just need to get ready, okay? Did she just walk through the damn door? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Who's in there right now? Uh, Penny Peggy? I'm trying to take a shower. Well, can you, like, hurry up in there? I'm trying to get ready for the grand opening of the Lucilla Carnival. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, too, Mom. Well, j just please hurry up in there, all right? We don't really have that much time left. Mom, we have, like, three more hours left. J just hurry up, okay? Alright, anyways, where are I? Oh, yeah. Later. All right, is everyone ready? Uh, yes. It looks like it. All right, good. I just want to make sure that we look perfect for the grand opening of the Lucille Carnival. Um, Mom? What is it, Penny? Do you think that we're missing someone or something? Um, no. Why you ask? I mean, I'm just saying, like, didn't you, like, di didn't we have, like, another, like, like, family member? Like, di didn't... Didn't I have, like, a brother or something? No, from not what I remembered. Okay, look, no more wasting time, okay? We're already about to be late, so come on, guys. Whoop, you heard your mother, Penny. Let's go. You know, no, never mind. That's one of the cars around the egg. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding and so the cheese and the carrot met, and they lived happily ever after the end. Yay! Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Well, I think that's enough playing for today. Say, so, hey, I wonder if Mom's making dinner. Oh yeah! As Kung Fu Panda would say. Oh, Mommy, is dinner ready? Mom? Uh, Mom? You in here? Mom! Oh, I see. We're playing hide and seek again. Oh, Jesse, wait, Mom. I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> Mom? You must be in here then. Mom, you in there? Oh, it's just me. Okay then. See ya. Mom? 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 Oh, never mind. Mom? 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 Oh, wait, she can't fit in there. Mom? Mom? Oh, wait, I was already down here. Mom, where are you? Yo, shut the fuck up! Wait, what does that mean? Huh, that's strange. Mom's not anywhere. Neither is Dad or... or, or Penny. Huh, I guess they went out, out to the grocery store, I guess, or probably Walmart. Huh, wait. That means... I'm home alone. I'm home alone. 
I'm home alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? I'm dancing in the shower. 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 This is the best day ever. I never want to stop. <sighs> <sighs> I think I'm gonna stop now. But man, was that a, such a fun day. Oh dear. I think, I guess it's starting to get late. But the thing is, mom, mom, dad, and Penny aren't home yet. I guess they're out for the whole day then. Well, mommy said, said I do need my sleep still. So you know what? I'm gonna go get some sleep. Ah, good night, world. See you tomorrow. <laughs> me, 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 me. Huh? Oh, jeez, oh, thank god that was a dream. That was the most scariest dream I ever had. Well, maybe mom, mom, dad, and Penny are home, right? Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out. Um, Penny? Are you awake? Penny? Penny? Wait a minute. Penny's not there? Well, how come they're not home? Yeah, like, it, I, it doesn't take that long to just get some items from the grocery store, right? Right? <gasps> that must be them! Let's go! My family's finally... Oh? What? What, what is that? Is that... Is that a hole? Wow, well, I didn't... I didn't know we had a... Room like this. Did, did I just find a... A secret wall? Wow, I'm so smart. Ugh. I get shivers. Oh, it's like a completely different reality. Wait a minute, I forgot! My family's home! Guys, you're finally... Back? Wait, if... If no one's at the door, then... Why, why did I hear the door open? Georgie! Georgie, I'm over here! Wait, is it... Do I hear Penny? I'm coming, Penny! Hold on! Hold on, Penny, I'm almost there! <laughs> Penny! What? Penny, you, you look different. I know. I know I look, look different. But don't I look pretty? I mean, I, I guess, yeah? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Hey, Georgie, do you want to play a game? A game? I love to play a game! Very nice! It's called... Run. But run? What, what's that game? Oh, it's very simple. Say, have you heard of Subway Surfers? Uh, I mean, yeah, we play it together, right? Yes, 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 of course. And you know what the main character does in that game? Uh, well, y yeah, I guess. Exactly. They run for their life. Uh, Penny, you're kind of scaring me. Exactly. Oh! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> <laughs> Why you little? <laughs> hey, <Gabu. laughs> so good for you, Georgie. Next on my list, Penny. This isn't you. Where's the Penny I've seen before? Okay, Georgie, cut that movie line crap, okay? You know this game is supposed to be serious, right? And it seems that it's about to be game over for you, Georgie. <laughs> I, uh, 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 <gasps> later, loser! Hey, you can't do that, that's cheating! Don't care, Dan ass, bye bye! Oh, yeah, I, oh, I gotta find a way out of here! <laughs> oh, so my leg again! Huh? Could you please be a kind soul and help your mother out of this cage? No! I, I don't trust you! But, Georgie, I'm your mother. You have to do what I say. No, no, I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm out of here. You are your mother. Let's have the word. Ah! Oh, first my leg twice and now my head. Oh. <laughs> what, what happened to you guys? I thought you were my family. Oh, Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. We are your family. We were your family. Like, a time! It's just that... we a new one.
Where am I? Oh dear, wait, why, why is this place super dark? Oh, don't worry, Georgie. You're safe here with me. Who said that? Wait, who are you? Where, where, where even are you? Oh, don't be afraid, Georgie. I'm a nice guy. I just, you know, I just don't really like to show my face. Listen, Georgie. What that was, was your nightmare. The entire thing was your nightmare. From when you were starting to play with that cheese and carrots. It was all just your silly little nightmare that I created for you. But you... You turned my family into... Those? Why, of course, Georgie. It's what I do. Why? Why did you do that? Why did you turn my family against me in the... In the nightmare? Well, Georgie... It's very simple. You see, Georgie... You have potential. What? What do you mean potential? I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm only nine, nine years old. Exactly, Georgie. You see, there's something that you don't know about this little place of ours, Amusella. You see, Georgie, we're part of a big multiverse, and I'm talking a big multiverse. It started to become one joke, and the next thing you know, we have an entire multiverse different kinds of universes. Some are in pieces of the multiverse that keeps the multiverse holding. And that's what you see, Georgie. These are some of the portals that lead to some of the different piggy universes. Like, we have some well-knowns in this kind of multiverse, like The Lost Book, Piggy Rebooted, The Result of Isolation, Piggy Seeking Revenge, even Animation I know it's a lot to swallow as a kid, but believe me, Georgie, you need to know this sooner or later. You see, every material that you'll, you see will always have some kind of multiverse with different kinds of universes, which are just like the original, but something just changes at least, like at least once. And that's what, ha what is happening with Lucella. It has created different kinds of dimensions, universes, once again multiverse and you see Georgie you are the Georgie of Puggy's Piggy Shorts we are right now in the Puggy's Piggy Shorts universe it's not a piece of the Piggy multiverse it's not really well known inside of the Piggy multiverse or even the Piggy community but it's still part of the Piggy multiverse it is still a Piggy universe and you see Georgie in some of these universes inside of the piggy multiverse you are known to be brave very powerful in at least one universe that i can't really remember the name of but all i know is what i saw from the different kinds of piggy universes i saw you as a brave little boy who never gave up on your journey and you kept going no matter what was getting in your way and you see georgie that's why you have potential. You could become the most greatest, greatest thing inside of Lucella. And you see, Georgie, I can help you. Help you with that. Piggy multiverse, the universes. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> see, I told you it was a hard pill to swallow. But listen, Georgie, you are probably one of the few Georgies inside this piggy multiverse that could become the most powerful Lucellian ever in their universe. The thing is, I can help you with that, Georgie. And all you need to do is just bring me one thing. One thing that can make us so powerful. More powerful than any entity in any other... Any other piggy universe. And I promise on that. Well, what is this thing you're talking about? Well, it's very simple, Georgie. It's just called... Uh, I mean, it doesn't really have a name, though, but... You know what? I'll just call it the Crystal Orb. You see, in every single piggy universe, it doesn't matter what it is, a dimension or just a completely normal universe, there's at least one of these Crystal Orbs. And this singular Crystal Orb can gain you so much power. And I believe on that. And the thing is, I've located this Crystal Orb near this guy's mansion 
called Old Man Eddie's Mansion. You probably at least heard the name before and stuff, you know? Because, well, didn't you go to that mansion before during Halloween? Well, I mean, yeah, I, to like kind of prank, like, you know, prank the house, like kind of egg it, I guess. But how do you know that? <laughs> Let's not, you know, get into questions very quick, you know. And what I've been trying to do is that I've been trying to traverse myself through these, all of these piggy universes, the rebooted universe, the secret revenge universe. All of them have at least one crystal orb somewhere in their universe. And I'm planning to take all the crystal orbs for every single universe, dimension, whatever's left in the piggy multiverse, and be truly the most powerful entity inside of the piggy multiverse ever. And you see, Georgie, I can help you become powerful as well. I can make you the most powerful Georgie inside of the piggy multiverse, more powerful than the, that one RP Georgie that I don't remember the name of. And all you need to do is to bring me the crystal orb. So what do you say, Georgie? Would you like to help me with this mission? And I could possibly split my power with you? I mean, it, it sounds pretty difficult. And besides, my parents always told me that I shouldn't trust strangers. Oh, come on, Georgie. I'm no stranger. I'm well known inside of the Piggy multiverse. Hell, throughout every single universe here, I'm pretty well known. So you don't need to worry a thing about any strangers or whatever. Because, I mean, you wouldn't trust me, right, Georgie? I mean, I just met you, like, now and stuff, so I don't know. Georgie, listen to me real quickly. You're missing out on an opportunity. You're missing out on such great things you can accomplish with that power. You don't know how great it is to have all this power with you, to tra traverse yourself through all these different dimensions, all these universes, probably outside eight of the universe you can even go through different kinds of multiverses you know and you can do all of that georgie if you just help me help me with this big mission and hell we could even be buddies after this you know like a sidekick you you could be my sidekick like i could name you silent her joy georgie how about that and all you need to do georgie is to bring me that crystal uh, I mean, but that, that sounds like a lot of responsibility for a nine-year-old. Oh, don't worry, Georgie. Don't you worry, my little pal. I'll teach you how to use all these powers. And then at the end, you'll become the most, you know, just the most powerful Georgie inside of this piggy multiverse. And besides, you can trust me on that. Believe me. And no need to tell anyone about this because they should know anyways. So what do you say, Georgie? Would you like to help me with this crystal or mission to possibly gain power? I, I, I guess I'll do it. That is great to hear, Georgie. And hey! I might even give you a cookie after this. A cookie? Oh yeah! See, that's the spirit, my boy. Now, I'll be giving you the location of Old Man Eddie's mansion. And once you grab that crystal orb, all you have to do is just go to sleep, and then I'll know. Um, okay. Georgie, it won't be that difficult, believe me. I can even make you invisible, you know, to make it more easier so you won't be spotted. Well, it seems that you're about to wake up. Your mother's about to wake you up for the grand opening of the Lucello Carnival now. Well, I'll see you soon, Georgie. And don't forget about that crystal orb, alright? Um, uh, alright, but... I, I never actually got your name. Oh, <laughs> my apologies. My name? is close to guess. Oh, okay, well, I'll see you soon, close to guess. Indeed you will, Georgie.
Georgie! 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 Uh, 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 Georgie, what are you doing sleeping? We have to get ready for the grand opening of the Lucello Carnival. Oh, so, so, sorry, sorry, Mom. I'll go get right now. Uh, yeah, hurry up with it. We only have like two hours left.